The sun's illuminating rays beat down on the charcoal gray cement, blistering our feet as we race home. We cry out with pain as our feet burn and our eyes desperately search for the slightest patch of shade to cool our feet. The only thing on our minds was getting our naked feet off the scorching fire. If only my cousin and I had simply thought to bring our flip-flops before we had left for the park. Therefore, I solely believe in shoes. Since the beginning of time, shoes have been used to protect our feet. However, today they are used not only for protection, but for fashion, comfort, and convenience. Shoes are a useful, everyday tool used by most people. Where would we be without them? To illustrate this, how could our settle NBA players race up and down the court without getting their toes squished? Or could a person hike to the top of Squaw Peak without a pair of tennis shoes or hiking boots? Most wouldn't dare. How could we go to school without, pe without people seeing our dirty toes and unpolished pedicures? Gross! Most people do not even realize how a single pair of tennis shoes, flip-flops, or high heels affects their everyday lives. For example, when high school students go to prom, one of the most essential items to purchase is the perfect pair of shoes to complete the look. Or, when going to work, one must wear the appropriate style of shoes to suit their position such as doctors wear closed toe shoes for sanitary and convenience purposes. We wear shoes almost everywhere without even thinking of the importance of them. Do we put them on to avoid germs or bacteria? Or maybe so our feet don't get burnt on the fire or the hot streets. Or perhaps to simply flare up our outfits. Shoes may be used for merely convenience or comfort for some people, but for me, they are much, much more than that. 40, 41... 42? My cousin slowly counts the never-ending shoes in my closet. We have been sitting on my bedroom floor for a solid 15 minutes when we finally count the last pair of shoes. 42 pairs of shoes? Taylor, there is something seriously wrong with you, my astonished cousin claims. Since I can remember, I've had an obsession with shoes. From play dress-up shoes to my present dress-up times, like homecoming and the spring fling dances, I've always loved shoes. Any store I enter, my eyes automatically lead me to the shoes section to find yet another precious pair to add to my growing collection. My insatiable desire for them burns a hole in my pocket, but my mind isn't on the money when I buy the shoes, though. I can only think of what pair of jeans or what tank top they would go great with. From eccentric sandals to simple flip-flops, I adore many diverse types of shoes. My ultimate favorite is high heels, though. Some girls loathe high heels, for they can be uncomfortable and painful to walk in. As for me, I can run an entire marathon and juggle while wearing a pair of two-inch high heels. My shoe fetish has led to a closet filled with a prodigious collection that increases in size almost every week. Shoes are an important part of my life because they are a resemblance of my unique style, thus my personality. Most people do not obtain a shoe fetish as I, but we all use them each and every day. For all people, shoes are a representation of safety. They protect us from germs, injuries, etc. They also symbolize diversity in each person that enables them to express their individuality. People are able to wear shoes that make them feel comfortable in their own skin while giving off a taste of who they are. In addition, shoes can represent a person's mood. For instance, if a person is, is relaxed, they may wear a simple pair of flip-flops or slippers. If a person is feeling sensual, they may throw on a snazzy pair of dress shoes. In conclusion, shoes are a vital article of clothing that is used for a plethora of reasons. Thus, I profoundly believe in shoes.